Welcome to this video about how to do JWT authentication with Click Cloud using Java. To be able to, to do what we're doing in this video, you have to install three additional components. So um, we have an Apache Tomcat to test the, the final Java uh, solution. We have Apache Maven to actually package and build the solution. And we're using OpenSSL. Um, to create the certificates for um, encrypting or signing and decrypting the uh, JWT. So first of all, we will start downloading the um, the GitHub repo. So let me just download the zip file. And um, let me unzip it. There we go. So the first thing we will do is to go in in the search directory. Here we'll find like four lines of code to generate the uh, certificates using SSL. Um, the easiest way to do this is actually to um, to make a copy of the file uh, and change it to a bad file. So let me just do that. Let's go ahead and run the bat file. So now we have the certificates ready um, to be used for the JWG. Um, let's just go ahead and find the public certificate which we need to use and click cloud to set up the uh, IDP in the management console. So I'll open the public certificate and I will uh, copy it into my clipboard. So here I go. I got it in my clipboard now. And then I'll go into my Click Cloud instance as a um, tenant admin. I go into the management console and I'll go down and create an identity provider. So I'll create a new one, select the type JWT. I'll enter, I will copy in the uh, certificate and do demo as issuer and key ID. We need to remember the key ID and the issuer for later use. Then we'll go to the web section and create a web integration. We will call this uh, Java. And we need to add the origin where we want to do the integration from. And this will be my Tomcat um, URL. At this point, it's a local host. So I'll just add that one, port 8080. So create, and this ID here, we need to use as an integration ID later on, so I'll copy that too. So I got it in my clipboard. Now let's switch back to the, to the source code and go into the source main and resource, resources and find the application.properties file. So in this file, I will add in my uh, integration ID I got in my clipboard. I will um, add in my key ID and my issuer. And I'll also add in my ClickSAS uh, tenant. Then I will copy um, the location where I have the certificates. So I'll just take the this one in my clipboard and paste it in. We need to remember to use to, to have the um, two backslashes by the end and also replace all um, backslashes with double backslashes. So let me just go ahead and do that. Okay, good. So then we will save the file. And now we'll find the directory where we got the palm file and open uh, PowerShell. And now we'll use the Maven framework to package the solution. Basically, we'll create the wall file. So um, we'll use the um, command called uh, MVN package. And the, the wall file is being created. Now we have a target directory, which we also can see here. And we have the... Uh, JWT sample wall file. So let me just go into my um, Tomcat and, and deploy the wall file. 
So now I have deployed the DWT, JWT example. Let me just go ahead and log, log off my um, click cloud instance with the existing user. And um, actually I'll go into to uh, incognito mode as well to make sure that we don't have any cookies or anything from a previous sign in. Then we'll go back into the uh, JWT example and we can see that we are now taking into the uh, ClickSense cloud. And if we check up in the right hand corner, we don't have management console access. So this is a new user. Let's go ahead and look a little bit on the code here. So this is a GSP page we are entering. First of all, we run a get JWT command or function. Uh, this function is generating the JWT. So the first thing it does is loading the properties from the uh, from the file we updated before we upload the WAR file. Um, when that is done, then we are uh, creating a key pair out of the private and public key. Um, then we um, create that the times need to be used in the JWT itself. And here we are creating the header and the payload for the JWT. Many of those parameters in the payload will be dynamically uh, in, in your solution, but in this case, it's just hard coded. By the end, we will um, you know, make the JWT, we will create it and sign it um, with the certificates, and then we will return the JWT. Then we have two more uh, function calls, one to return the URL and one to return the integration ID. Um, so when we have them, we are ready to build up the header where we include the JWT in the authorization um, property. And then we are ready to build up the request office uh, request options and actually do the, the HTTP post into login slash JWT session, including the web integration ID. When this hits the ClickSend server and comes back. You got all the cookies you need in the browser and you're ready to um, do like the window replace or replace the location in the URL and you'll come back into the uh, Click Cloud instance. So this is how you do JWT authentication with Click Cloud and Java. I hope you liked the video. Thank you.